Right, what we're going to do is we're going to go for a walk now around the stadium. Uh, the stadium is split into five, obviously five levels, so five of the facility team will now go and walk the stadium. It's for security, basic safety check and housekeeping check. This is Arsene Wenger's lounge. The boss, he will, he will get here as it was last night. Um, before the players get here, he'll come in here, have, probably have a glass of water, have a chat with the coaching staff in here. This is his base really on, a, on, a, on, an, on an event day. Yeah, this is the final part. Um, we will just check, make sure the footprint of the stadium, there's no, there's no obvious uh, problems with it. The, imp the impressions that the public get, the first impressions they get is of the outside of the stadium. So we're just off down after the Arsenal letters. That's the end of our footprint. So that's where their journey with us really starts. Each club has to have a, a qualified safety officer. Um, we have a, myself as a safety officer and Mark is also a qualified safety officer. Ultimately you have got that responsibility. Um, the decisions you make on that day um, can, have, you know, can have an impact. Um, hopefully always a positive one, but you know, they, they, can, they can cause problems that you may need to you know, make sure that you, that you um, are making the right decisions based on um, ultimate safety um, and security of the venue and the people that come, come within the stadium. The day is sold out. Uh, it's a Category A, which is a low-risk game. Um, Southampton are bringing 3,000 visitors. Southampton have got a good following. Um, their fans don't cause any problems wherever they go. Um, not expecting any problems. Spoke to the safety officer at Southampton. Um, good bunch of people, quite a lot of families. Um, Mark may have a little bit of information a little bit later on to, to add to that, but generally they are well behaved. So we have about 90, we have about 90 supervisors. Um, they all hold a level three st uh, stewarding qualification. Um, and then they then cascade that down to a further sort of 750 stewards. The more information the staff have, um, the, the more seamless um, you know, match day operation that we're providing and hopefully making sure that everyone who comes through those doors has a, has a fantastic day. Calling all searching supervisors, all searching supervisors. Can you get your stewards outside ready for opening in five minutes? I repeat, all searching supervisors, can you get your staff outside ready for opening in five minutes? Thank you. And we can't open up the stadium until we've checked that every single supervisor has come back in. Yes, he's briefed his staff. Yes, he's got enough staff on and our stadium is ready to go in their particular area. Once we're happy that the whole stadium is, is, is ready, we'll then give the green light to open up the turnstiles and allow members of the public in. Event control calling all turnstile supervisors. Yeah. When the PDA users and search are ready in your area, you may now open the ground. The amount of cameras we have on, have on have in the stadium is around about 180 cameras. Um, I would say probably half of those are looking at our, our entrances and exits to the stadium and also on the podium. We have a lot of cameras, static cameras that we're looking at that, and they all feed into a central hub to which we, 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 can, we can store the data for up to 45 days with 160 cameras. We, we can have as many cameras as we like, we can have as many stewards, but the, the data coming in is at real, at real, at real time. The turnstile system um, gives us real live account of how many people we have in the building and it, it, it will drill down to what person come in what turnstile at what time. It is a sophisticated piece of um, IT, IT equipment that is essential to us to understand how many people we have in the stadium at given time. Calling all supervisors, all supervisors, when your seven hour stewards are in position, you can stand down. I repeat, all supervisors, when your seven hour stewards are in position, you can stand down. Thank you and good night. To know that everyone's come in, we, you know, we've had 60,000 people in the stadium, they've had a, they've had a great day. Hopefully they've seen the team, the team win. Um, they've all gone home nice and happy. Um, we've had no major issues to concern ourselves with. Um, or we can turn the floodlights off and go home and, you know, it's been a good, so another sense of achievement, yeah, that we've done what we can.